iOS 14 introduced widgets for the very first time on an iPhone, and people have started to run wild with different home screen configurations, and even figured out a way to change application icons. Now, we even imagined ourselves, what if we could theme iOS 14 like Mac OS 10 Aqua? And so in this video, we're gonna go over all of the apps, tips, and tricks that you need to know to help customize your iPhone's home screen. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. After I show you how to get your home screens all set up with custom widgets and icons, I would love to see your setups. Be sure to share some of those screenshots with me over on Twitter so that we can check them out. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with how to add widgets, all you need to do is simply long press on your home screen to enter into jiggle mode, then tap the plus icon in the top left corner. From here, you'll see a list of your first and third party widgets that you can add to your home screen. Just go ahead and select which one you want, the size, and then tap add to home screen. It's pretty simple. Now, since the official release of iOS 14 last week, we've seen a ton of new apps hit the App Store, allowing users to customize different widgets for their home screens. I'm not going to be able to run through all of them, but we have links in the description to articles that feature a lot of different apps. But I do want to touch on some of the better ones that you can download right now. First up is an app called Widgetsmith, which allows you to create customized small, medium, or large widgets with time, date, photos, upcoming events, reminders, etc. There are lots of customization options to choose from, and it's pretty much free, but the app does offer weather and tide widgets as part of its premium subscription package, which costs $1.99 per month or $19.99 per year. Now, we will have some weather alternative widgets, so hopefully the subscription won't be necessary for you as the rest of the app is really good and it's also free. There have been tons of examples online of people who have used this app and have really gone to work creating some unique customization options with their widgets. Uh, there's been a ton of different examples all over the internet, and here I'm sharing some of the ones that I think are really cool. Uh, but feel free to browse around and find some unique uh, inspiration for your home screen setups. Another popular option is Color Widgets, which offers up free time, date, and battery widgets all in one widget with some color added to each option. Now, most options are free. You know, you can just kind of cycle through different colors, but you will run into a few different styles that will cost a one-time purchase of $3.99. Widgeridoo is another great widget option, though if you want to make any true custom changes to each widget, it's gonna cost a one-time purchase of $3.99, but the app also gives you widgets for birthday reminders, calendars, a today view that displays multiple blocks of info, a news feed widget, and much more. For weather widgets, check out Weatherline or Hey Weather Widgets. Both are free to use the base widget with a couple of different customization options available, but once you start really trying to tweak different settings, especially in Hey Weather Widgets, things will cost a little bit of money in order to make those extra tweaks. It just depends on how crazy you want to get with these widgets and your home screen in general. Speaking of home screens, users have been able to get some pretty wild custom home screens done with the help of some of the widgets that we just talked about, as well as a workaround with changing app icons. We actually created our own theme for this video specifically, inspired by The Verge's horrific looking Windows 98 theme. Now we decided to go back to the early days of Mac OS and mock up a nostalgic Mac OS X Aqua theme for our iPhone. It's not quite fully functional, but we wanted to see what might be possible. I'll leave links in the description down below on where you can get all the assets that we talked about to make this theme, but again, just keep in mind it's not super functional. Also, the one thing that you really just need to know on how to get most of these custom themes done is changing your app icons. To do this, you'll need the Shortcuts app. And once you have the app installed, just go ahead and open it up, tap the plus icon to create a new shortcut, and search for the Open App action. Go ahead and select that action, and then tap Choose to select which apps you want to open, and then tap the ellipsis. And from here, go ahead and tap on Add to Home Screen. This is where we can change the name of what's displayed on our home screen as well as the app icon. Now, if you want a really clean look, you could just go ahead and not enter in a name, leave it blank, or type the name of the app for just a more traditional experience. Next, tap the app icon and select your new icon from your photos library, then go ahead and tap done, and that's it. The major downside to all of this, changing your app icon and whatnot, 
is that once you go ahead and tap on the app on your home screen, it actually needs to open up the shortcuts app, run that shortcut that we just created to open up the corresponding application. It's gonna be annoying and there will be some hiccups along the way. It's definitely not an ideal option, but this is really all that we have to work with right now, especially if you want to create some of those wild home screens that we just talked about. If you want to recreate our theme, just go ahead and follow this process. We took some shortcuts to put together this quick what if theme. Our Mac OS X weather widget, well, it's actually just a photo that we added and then used Widgetsmith to portray it as a widget. Same with all of the other widgets that you see on this theme. We'll have to wait for a developer to kind of step up to reproduce some of these classic Mac OS X dashboard widgets for iOS 14. So for right now, these non-functional images are just gonna have to do. I also created my own custom pastel theme by simply searching for icons on this website, icons8.com. Honestly, this is probably the route to go if you're gonna wanna start really heavily customizing icons. It was just a lot easier for me to do and it's not nearly as time consuming as creating your own custom icons. All of these icons were free for me to download, but you will need to create an account. Uh, and then I just grabbed a wallpaper from an app called Backdrops. Again, all of this is linked in the description down below. And you can do all of this from your phone, but I personally just searched for all of the icons on my Mac and then airdropped everything to my iPhone. That felt like a little bit of an easier process, but just personal preference. So that's it. There's definitely some workarounds that are not ideal, but you can get some pretty amazing results. And be sure to send me your amazing results of what you were able to do with your home screen over on Twitter. And let me know in the comment section down below if you discovered any new third-party icons or widgets that you want us to check out. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.